New developments tonight involving the murder of this 11 year old boy, Josue Flores. Last night, the community rallied in his honor. Tonight, another show of support in the form of a town hall meeting. Its purpose to put an end to senseless violence and tragedies like this one. Our Jennifer Bauer was there for that meeting and joins us live now. Jen. Dominic, it was standing room only inside this community center, a huge outpouring of support for the Flores family. But you know, a lot of really concerned residents who live in this area concerned for their own safety and making sure something like this never happens again. Hundreds of caring neighbors packed into this community center to show support for Josue Flores. The murder of the 11 year old has sent shockwaves throughout this community. And now they're demanding change. This shows me that how much the community cares. Juan Flores was Josue's older brother. He came to the meeting on behalf of his parents, who don't have the strength right now to do much. My mom, she, she's doing her best to hold it together. The Flores family says this outpouring of support is helping them heal. People who live in this community want to make sure a tragedy like this never happens again. They spoke up and said the homeless population and drug users are causing decay here and they want to see more police patrol. Acting HPD Chief Martha Montalvo told the crowd she is working on a plan. Mayor Sylvester Turner and Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee also spoke up and reassured this community they are a priority. We're going to work very closely to, to do everything we can to make sure the community is safe. This requires all layers of government. Uh, I deal with homeless issues, homeless persons. We know that people are homeless in this community. We don't want them to be homeless. Um, but we also know that young people have to live safely in this community. And Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee tells us she is committed to this community and making sure the people here are safe. She also told us if necessary, she will reach out to the Department of Justice for help. We are live tonight. I'm Jennifer Bauer, KPRC Channel 2 News.